Next one is heel raises. Now, why do we do heel raises? Uh, skipping is something, again, I love a lot. Now, why is all that being done? When we think about the body, when we think about running, three joints, hips, knees, and ankles, they need to work in sync, all right? So if you don't have this little movement, so if I can, again, have a look at there. So this little movement, all right? So these are heel raises. If your ankles, if your feet are not moving, your knees and your hips will not be able to do as good as they should, okay? So your knees will have, take all the brunt, your hips are generally very stiff. So your ankles need to move, all right, to be a good runner. All right, so very, very simple one. You're just standing tall and you're just simply doing this up and down and up and down. Start with both legs. So it's totally fine. Just do both legs. Eventually, once you're comfortable, then you're just standing on one leg, leaning on the other one slightly so, and you're just doing this little bit. So again, you don't need a wall. If you have a wall right there, why not? But simply just doing this, all right? And it'll surprise you how weak you'll be with heel raises also, all right? So 10, five repetitions, multiple times a day. Again, the beauty is it doesn't take anything to do this throughout the day. You can be anywhere, office, school, courts, wherever, hospitals. It doesn't take much to do this, okay? So very easy, very basic exercise can be done anywhere. Number wise, just start with some. So maybe five to 10 reps, three, four, five times a day. That's good enough. Go slow, don't go very fast. 